Welcome back to Metallus Principle 2. I'm Dear Darling. And why are we here? What truth awaits us? Why don't we answer more of these questions together? As we will start off by doing city news, the next social media posts. The social media is actually a really cool introduction to all of us. Um, for a long way to birth. No, hold on, what? I was interrupted by a projection. Oh, okay, this is new. Interrupted by, by an unknown projection of the skies. Prometheus. Uh, no, no, no. The source of protection chapter remote uh, by Byron is now on route to find more. Other members include Alcatraz, Melville, Yakut, and 1K. Mayor um, Hermanubis has once again called for calm and promises that New Jerusalem will be safe so long as citizens do not forget the ideals of a goal is set forth by the founder. Like, I don't think we're in danger or anything. Who's that over there? Is that Melville? Who's that there walking around? Let me have a conversation with you. It is Melville. Hey. Yes. All right. Tell me about yourself. Founders Piston. Do you want my autobiography now? Yeah. Fine. I'm one of New Jerusalem's chief engineers. I'm in charge of city maintenance and power management. You're in charge of a lot, by the way. Dirt, although not quite as old as that fossil Byron. <laughs> in short, old grumpy, keep stuff running. Do you have any hobbies? Hobbies? Yeah. You think I have time for hobbies? That's it's cute. like your life. If I had time for hobbies, all of you would be dead. You need more people working for you, really? Nothing? Makes sense, I'd say. Did you have another question? Yeah, of course. I hear you're a big fan of Yakut's cat. Listen, one day that furry little demon is going to pee on the wrong cable and all think? of New Jerusalem will just turn off. Forget about the mega structure. He's the biggest threat to our security. I feel like having one weak point which could be easily taken down by a cat urinating is probably not great for system stability. But yet again, you are the chief engineer, so don't let me tell you how to do your job. What's your evaluation of a mega structure? It's nice. too big. Well, it's okay. got a lot of energy running through it. Frankly, I think we should be pooping our robot pants. Do you robots? See. That's what I mean Excrum? about the language uh, Excrum I don't know. Pooping our pants. <laughs> really? Any progress on the particle clouds? Yes, but I'm not liking the results. Oh, okay. What other results? <laughs> okay, then. Confusing, irritating, infuriating. Okay. Take your pick. That's all. Uh, great chat, Melville. And by great chat, I mean highly mediocre chat. But, you know, not everyone wants to chat. That's okay. You've got a job to do. Why am I getting away with it? I've got a job to do about solving puzzles, uh, which I like to say I do with decent wellness. Entanglement. Interesting, that's a highly placed laser. Oh, that's a bit of a rarity. Is this a ladder? This isn't a ladder? Are you kidding me? That looks so ladder-like. Um, oh, these, these are literally just decorations. Okay, so we need... Ultimate goal, get a green laser here. Um... Interestingly, if we get a green laser here, we get a cube. Which I, I wonder if that will come into the play with the fact that that's a high laser over there. Okay, for now, let's just get what we need. Oh, okay. I see. Right. Um. Where do we even begin? With all of this. I'm just trying I'm just trying to think. Okay, probably what will happen is we want you to be on this, I think. Oh, I just dropped all the connections like an absolute buffoon. Uh, we probably want you to be on here, connected to you, connected to you, like this. And then ah, we connect you over here like this. That will get us access to the cube. And then we need to think. Probably we want to have a blue laser high in the air. And then we can have... Oh, that's not going to work. I guess we get the connector high in the air to be a green transmitter. And then we have... Wait, it's not even called a connector. What was this thing called? Converter. Okay, so we want to send, essentially, the converter into the air. Um, just trying to think how this should work. Because we need... I don't... You can't get sent up while not on a cube, right? Okay. 
Interesting, you can power yourself. So we need you to connect to you, you, and you. Um, over here. Let's grab you for now. Because we need you to wave us down. I think we also need you to activate it at some point. So we put you on here, then we keep connections, put you on there. We can send you upwards. Interestingly. Um, and then we sort of bypass everything. Oh, maybe we can't. No, we oh we can. And then we stand on this to give you green, which will power you, which will send you into the sky. Oh, interesting. What's happening here? We've given you the red, and now you've taken the red from the other source, but the red and green is now colliding. That's fascinating. I didn't I don't know if that's gonna be something which we'll need mechanically in the future. But the idea that we can send that source and as long as we have we can send a colour source to the converter and then as long as we have like converter receiving the same source the, the same colour from a different source, it will cause a collision. You know? Does that make sense? Maybe not. I hope that's an easy way for us to get back. Or do we have to just literally retreat? I can't believe it's not a ladder. Oh, what's going on over there? Swimble. Get me up. Um. So it does seem like there's more things. So I'm about to sprinting everywhere. I know it can be, like, a bit motion sickness inducing. But this place is just really big. Um. The terminal, okay. It's like insanely big. Lifrasir from Lies of the First Companions by Randolph 777. Lifrasir is perhaps the most mysterious of the first companions, a wanderer and mystic and mystic by nature. He would venture far from New Jerusalem on his own, recording his thought as he explored harsh and distant lands. These recordings garnered him a group of devoted followers to whom he tried to impart his wisdom 5358. In the troubled time following the founder's disappearance, Lifrasi and his disciples set out on a journey to reach the opposite end of the world by foot. They've not been heard from since. That seems like a bad thing if we have limited people existing. There is a pleasure in arriving on this island. Oh, French. The pleasure of being the first to step foot here in hundreds of years. It is a genuine pleasure, and yet it is also banal. Mm. My presence here is of no more significance than that of every other animal. These rocks do not care who walks here. True. And the millennia between the presence of our ancestors and my brief journey are nothing to them. But even putting it this way is wrong. It is not that the rocks do not care. I should turn off the motion box if that is possible. Exist. But I'll do that after I may stand in awe you finish talking. On the southern coast. But the Something cute. Cannot look back at me with contempt. <laughs> they <laughs> won't do a French accent for a second. At all. Okay, hold on. Let me let me pause. Let me see if I can turn off motion, Bob. It seems like I already turned it off. I swear it's still a very small motion, Bob. But what do I know? Um, new interface content available. Lifrasir. So one K found a recording of Lifrasir, and what an odd recording too. I know he's one of her first companions, but I don't actually know that much else about him. I don't think I've ever seen him around, either. Can someone explain? Lifras here always had an unusual perspective, even in the very beginning. He travelled a lot, something sometimes leaving for years. He built a kind of mobile recharging station, so he didn't need to come back to the city as often. But it was quite risky, as the solar panels had a tendency to break rather quickly. But he had no problem taking risks if he felt they were necessary and exploration was necessary to him. Lifrasir would record his thoughts as he explored them and publish them whenever he returned. Over the centuries, he accumulated a group of admirers, or disciples if you prefer. In the period of crisis surrounding Athena's disappearance, he left the city, headed into the unknown, and we haven't heard from him since. Is a recording I found one of those he published back in the day? No, not as far as I can tell. Perhaps it's something he decided to shelve, or something he only shared with close friends like Athena. Thank you, that was informative. I was going to say, is every post on the social media public? I mean, I thought about it, there's only a thousand people, so I guess it's not that unreasonable. Um, I don't know why we can go down here. Drug. Um, if there's a secret or something, but okay, I guess we should just be heading back to um, the gate. The gates are open, the gates are closed. 
because that seems like the most reasonable thing to be doing. We can solve the Tetronomy puzzles, which I'm surprised at how different they are right now. Um, because I touched one of my puzzles before. I don't know what way to go. I think this way should be quite fast. Um, yeah, again, my navigational skills are not exactly my strong point. So maybe this is a fool's errand. Um, I'm just sort of running. Uh, where am I going? Where am I? <laughs> I should have just followed the sign, but... I thought that I thought that was legitimately a wolf for a second, and I went, "What?" I oh, know. I think we went down this path at some point. Not this back way, but we we had something over here. Oh yeah, this Colosseum. Okay. Um, not the quickest way to get back. I'm surprised there wasn't a way to go directly back from World Eight, but maybe they want us to pass the the Golden Gate again, because the gate is meant to be over here somewhere, right? We can have a quick look, see if it's open up. I don't think it has, but... Well, it seems like we're all this way. The Golden Gate, I remember being in a forest thing. Okay, and these are the cairns we passed earlier. So it must have been before this area, maybe over here. Because if we can just walk by it quickly, just to be like, confirm it's not open, I think I'll be good. This seems like such a long-winded way to get back. I'm really surprised there wasn't a quick way. and Which is why I'm thinking there probably must have been a quick way. I probably just didn't see it because I'm blind. But yeah, let's just see if we, this is open. doesn't look like it's open. I'm sure we must have to do whatever the secret levels are and find them. For it to open up to us. Um, but let's not be too considerate. concerned with that. Yeah, let's just go... Heading back to the mega structure, if we can. What is that? Is that a secret? How do we get up? How how do we grab it? We need to go upwards or something. That's definitely something. Um, can we can we get above this level? Or can we just, like, jump off over here? The spark. Find one Prometheus spark. Oh, those are things which allow you to skip. I see. I don't want to use it. Like, I'd, you can hold me to this. I will not use any of them ever in this game, but still. It's cool to find. Um, so we don't need that. So... I guess we'll just solve the Tetronomies? I don't really know how the Tetronomies work, to be honest. Oh, we can choose which piece. And I guess we'll put this piece. I don't, don't see why not. Then we can put this piece, and then we put this piece here. And that gets us over here. We only have so many pieces. But St. Edward believed that Tetromino's represented the name of God and okay. God's ability to reshape the world. True. But he was also mad as a hatter. One man's madness is another man's genius. Oh, they have specific ways that they can connect. I just realised what the thing at the top means. Okay, how, can we reset everything? We can, okay. Wow, this is going to be difficult to picture. So the green is a way it connects, and the red is how it connects to it. Okay. I see, so in that case, I think I want you to go out this way, but I want to use this one to go out like this, and then you connect like that. Oh, interesting spin on the Tetronomo things. It's actually quite hard to think through um, when you've got... What? Oh, that's not how I thought you connected. It's actually quite difficult to think through when you've only got... When, when you can only see from first person instead of third person. <laughs> Those were actually the only ones I was good at. Hey, well, good for you. What? I'm just saying. <laughs> um, well, there's a big tower. We had a lot of towers in Talus Principle 1. Lengthy elevators, which I'm not sure if this is necessarily the same sort of deal. 
Actually, we're on this mission. Is it because a fat 1k is just meant to be insanely good at solving puzzles? It was a bit ominous, don't you think? Purple swirling plasma energy of some kind. Is that some kind of anti-gravity? I'm not sure. Could be, I guess. It is going upwards. Whoa. Um. We are hurtling very quickly into something. We're like a fiber optic. Laser. Oh, is Prometheus going to appear? No, that's not Prometheus. Who are you? In the beginning, the Sphinx. God shaped humankind out of the clay of the earth and gave them life with their own breath. But who is closer to perfection? The creator or the created? You would think the creator. What the, what the heck are you talking about, lady? The creators because they came from nature. The creator because they came from art, not chaos. They are the same for they share the same breath. Neither. They cannot be compared. Neither because perfection is impossible. Wow, okay, there's a lot of things I agree with. Um, what I think is a chorus thing I agree with. Perfection is impossible. Nothing they cannot be compared. I think they cannot be... They are the same, they share the same breath. No. Hmm. What do I think about this? Maybe they cannot be compared. Some refuse to judge because they are wise. Some because they fear the truth. <laughs> when Prometheus saw Excuse me, why are you trying to call me out here? More alike in nature to the gods than to the animals. He stole the secret of fire from Olympus and shared it with the mortals. I mean, that's not really to do with perfection. Justified? Yes, because knowledge belongs to all. Yes, because parents should not leave their children helpless. True. No, fire was not for humankind to have. No, because knowledge must be earned, not given. Zeus did not create fire. It was not his own in the first place. True. Um... Yeah, parents should not leave their children, children alone. Must learn to help themselves. Yeah, but, but do you know what the point and of a parent is? The betrayal of Prometheus, <laughs> Zeus punished you, you, they, you, by you give them the opportunity for environment so that they can the teach themselves, right? And when she opened it, from inside escaped sorrow and suffering. All that remained within was hope. What does this mean? Hope may still be found if we are willing to look for it. Zeus intended for humankind to have hope. It should have been released. Hope is itself an evil like sorrow and suffering. We are lucky it did not escape. That is a really interesting take. I don't think I agree with it, but Zeus intended for humankind not to have hope to remain trapped. We suffer, but we do not anticipate it. This is a blessing as Zeus intended. Why, why is this all about Zeus? I don't... N none of my opinions are formed through the lens of Zeus. So I guess hope may still be found if we're willing to look for it. Those who seek hope should ask themselves why it was imprisoned with the world's evils. It's more like an antidote to a poison, day, right? You stand before the fire. Are you just gonna- are you so contrarian that you're just gonna refute every point I make? Will it destroy you? No, I'm pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be whole. Cast by the flame, but do not mistake them for Don't truth. try and um, allegory of a cave me. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's very sort of witness-esque. It's like assembling itself and it's going to shoot a giant laser off. Yep, okay. So we have a witness now. Guys, look at my stream. The beam 1K activated is connecting to the pyramid. That looks yeah, like that's exactly what I said. Power. Here we do. Grasslands ring. Activate the tower. I have a grasslands to ring. Talk about what just happened. Yeah, okay. Thoughts? I'd say there are two distinct issues here. Issues? What is the being 1K spoke to? True. And what is the function of the beam? To open the pyramid. Let's start with the Sphinx. Okay. It seems similar to the apparition in New Jerusalem. To me, this seems like a test of some technology. kind. What I'd like to know is what we're dealing with, ontologically speaking. Ontologically? Was this a sentient being or like some a, kind of recording? On, ontology is a study of metaphysics, right? I think it was sentient. It seemed to react to what I was saying. I don't know if I'd say it's sentient. Well, okay. We, we got to think in world. I could have said literally anything. So okay, that doesn't say that. necessarily mean that it's intelligent. Let's assume. Is that what you for asked? Moment that one K is right and it is intelligent in some sense. What really matters you here ask for is it, what it was trying to achieve by asking those questions. I think it's just trying to do some philosophical exploration. It seemed threatening. No, I'm not saying it's threatening. I think it was testing. Is what I thought. It was testing, testing me. You to what? See if you're worthy. Maybe that's an interesting thought. You solve the puzzles, you get access to the towers, you enable a beam, and if you do it three times, 
you get access to the mega structure. What is this? Some kind of game? Maybe, but why? I See don't know. who the new humans are, I it's suppose. A mystery. <laughs> don't you like mysteries, Al? Everybody likes a good mystery. You know what I like? Certainty. Come on now, live a little. We should be careful we don't know that these app apparitions are benign. We're all doomed. I guess I we should disagree, all be careful. But I still think we should proceed. Oh, we are we okay. absolutely are gonna proceed. Keep solving puzzles. The rest of you, as you were. I I'm pretty sure this they're not benign or malignant or anything like that. They're just existing. And um, to me it seems like this is my prediction that this is meant to be a test of some kind. Um, an evaluation, I suppose, of the new humans who've come here. Like, the puzzles are meant to be a mental evaluation of them. These um, meetings with the beings are sort of, like, philosophical ones. And, like, uh, they're sort of evaluating my moral fibre. But not necessarily that there's a right or wrong answer. Wow, that's a lot of colour shifting that just happened. Um, just more so seeing what the new species, I suppose, of human, humans 2.0, stand for. As if I'm a representative of them. Which I suppose is not particularly fair since I've definitely been alive the shortest dur duration of all the new humans, but still. Um, so I guess the next thing we do is we just sort of go away. And um, we try to, whatchamacallit, we, 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 will, we will go back into the pod and go to the next area, right? I think that's what we're meant to do. Which I guess I'll save for next time. So, if you have been watching, thank you very much. It's been Talos Principal 2. I've been Dear Darling. Like, likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So, until next time, bye bye for now. Oh, you can actually see the laser. Can we see the pyramid from here? Why am I looking there? It's like literally the worst place to look. Well, it goes off on a distance, so who knows? Anyway, <laughs> sorry. Bye bye for now.